Hey guys, my local comic shop had some mystery boxes and mystery packs of comics. Let's see what we got. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to ATB. I'm your host T. Roy. How are you guys doing today? Um, so the other day when I went to the comic store, I picked up all my weekly stuff and got a few other things. They had some new bundles and all sorts of giveaways. They had this box, which was $25.99, I believe. This is at Collected Comics in Keller. Um, and they also had, and I'm going to show you their little thing. So you six books for $3.99. So, I mean, that's, I mean, what does what that break it down to? Like, not even a dollar, uh, like 75 cents a book, roughly? I mean, come on. Where are you going to get that many book so i got three of those we're gonna go through and then we got this box we will do last and the box is supposed to have a graphic novel a funko pop and some random comics so that whichever do with ever the whatever the uh paper is so we'll see about that but we're gonna start right here we're gonna go ahead and get into these comics value bags and uh, I will look up if there's anything that's above cover price I will actually put it somewhere you make sure to save my coupon because it does have a 10% off coupon of $25 or more on your next um, purchase and you have a 50% chance of getting a Marvel variant okay so first off we have Excalibur and this is the what is it it's just like a like a short story or whatever I'm not 100% sure Chris Claremont I know is the writer so that's pretty cool I mean it it's probably worth I mean they have they don't have a mark on here but 325 is what it says on the side next up we have Journey into Mystery, 637 and 638. So, there you go. 637. And then 638. Pretty cool covers. And these are 299 each. Next up, we have the Invincible Iron Man, 512, with a 399 cover price. So, I mean, like, all these, one of these comics is basically what I paid. And there's another Invisible Iron Man. This one's 514, so it's the one before that one. That's kind of cool. Get, get to read them back to back. And the last thing we have is Fantastic Four number 16. Pretty cool little chest cover. So, no variance in that back, but that's pretty cool. Get one old comic and some newer ones I've never read. Let me figure out a place to put these. It's right there for right now. So pack back and pack them. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. I mean, literally, the price is ridiculous low. Okay. Pack number two. Another coupon. So, like I said, some of these are older comics too, and some new. So it's kind of a mixture. We have the Incredible Hulk 395. That's a Dale Keown cut comic. I actually do need that one, which is crazy. Then we have Fantastic Four number 281. A great comic. Ooh, Marvel Nice Spider Man number 8. Venomous Part 4. Pretty cool cover. We have Captain America, number 398. The Avengers, number 24. And the last comic in here is The Mighty Thor, number 417. They had it marked at six bucks. So, I mean, I really like this. This set was really nice. I had a lot more older stuff in it. 
cannot go wrong. So, so far, no variant covers, but if odds are with me, then this one should be the one that has a variant in it. But like I said, I'm, I'm not honestly worried about the variant because I'm really making out with these. I mean, in my opinion... Trying to get open these up and try not to damage the bags that they're in. So I can reuse them. Okay, give me just one second. Okay, so we're on the last one. We do have a variant cover this time. We'll do that one last. Okay, first off, we have Dark Hold Alpha. No idea what that is. Got a price cover price of $4.99 though. We have a Fantastic Four number one. Avengers Disassembled 502. Like I said, I'll try to remember to go through these, and if there's any that have any kind of particular value, I'll let you know. We have Young Avengers, number 11. Amazing Spider-Man, number 45. And this is the variant. It's Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond, number 1. They have it as a sticker price of $30, people. Tell me that's not a great... I mean, that's a great... I don't care what, what anybody says. That's that, that's a great pack. Highly recommend. Again, it's collected comics. And... Wataga slash Keller. Okay, and but we're not done, guys. We got more. So this is it. This is... It's a box. They've wrapped it. I'm going to open it up real carefully because I do want to save the paper. I really, really like this. I think it's a... It might be a poster that maybe they use. I don't know. It's pretty cool no matter what. Oh my goodness. Be really careful. I really do want to keep try to keep this poster intact. Awesome. So there's the box, and then there's the poster. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Like again, again I think this was twenty five ninety nine. Let's see what kind of goodies we have in here. Okay, so, like I said, there's a pop, graphic novel, and then some comics. Oh. The, the pop got damaged. That's okay, though. But it is our friend Mobius from Loki. Um, reason why it got damaged is because, like I said, there is a hard a graphic novel in here. And that obviously landed and crushed on it. But uh, it's okay. No, that, I'm not really worried about that at all. Next, we have a Dungeons and Dragons keychain. Has a retail value of seven dollars. And then we have the books. First up, we have this is Excalibur Volume Four. This has a fifteen ninety nine retail value. Then they have a little, little collected comics thing. Let me make sure you show that. They do auctions. And 
another Marvel comic block. So this is supposed to be a minimum of a $20 value in here. So if you look at look at it like this way, then that's if this is a twenty dollar value and that book was twenty. I mean, you're double value already. I love when comic stores give back to the community like this guy they, these, they do here I mean these are just incredible incredible values okay so we got another 10% off coupon gotta make sure we gotta remember to take those with me so first thing first we got Wolverine patch number four and we have Jane Foster, the Mighty Thor, number one. The Eternals, Avengers, X Men, Eternals. And let's see if this has a number. AXE. I guess it's just like a one off. Next up, we have The Deaths of Wolverine, number one. Pretty cool cover. Oh, I know So Bless is going to like this one. He likes that Venom and Carnage stuff, but this is Carnage, number one. Conan the Barbarian, number two. Doctor Strange, number six. Oh, this is cool. Alien, number 11. I almost bought this one. Look how much money I saved by getting it this way. Oh, well, this is... If you guys Funko Pop people, if you remember the Mech Strikes, this is the comic book. Mech Strike Monster Hunters. Pretty freaking cool. I'll put you last. Okay, next up we have Savage Spider-Man number four. Miracle Man number zero. I don't know who that is, but give me a chance to read it because I'm sure it, normally zeros give you a good backstory. We had have Infinity Warps number two. Elions, number nine. Another Infinity Warps, the Iron Hammer. Uh, got an X Men book, so I'm happy. Iceman, number one. Next up, we have Savage Spider Man, number three. We had a second printing of Alien number one. Awesome cover, though. Got another Avengers X Men Eternals X Men. This one is Iron Fist. And last but not least, we have the second printing. Let me get the guy's got a sticker on it. I can't even get it off, so we'll leave on there. But it's the second printing of Sabretooth number one. Awesome cover. But that's it, guys. Um, like I said, I'll, if there was anything of note, I'll put on there. But you've got to think what I just showed you was. $12, 30 like $35 for everything I just showed you. That's why I paid. So I am not 
Oh, I mean, I could care less about the damage in Mobius. I don't, I mean, he's not one I would collect anyways. But, I mean, I'm just, I am over the moon on how happy I am with the quality of what's, what was in those packs. I definitely am going to try and get go back and get some more. Um, I enjoy the, I enjoyed going through it and I liked watching it. And there's stuff I would never get otherwise. Most of these are just reader copies. Uh, like I said, I'm going to look to see if there's anything of value. I don't think there's anything more than kind of cover price value, really. Um, you did see the one variant they had marked at 30. We'll see what that's actually at right now, too. Um, until next time, though, that's it, guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, hashtag road to 500. I know we've hit 500 already. We're waiting through the week to make sure we it's still there. Um, the next three video, the next two videos, well, this one and the next one, will be your last chances to get in, in for the duck race that we're going to be having. Um, that'll be very, very, very soon. Um, that way you can find out, we can finally find out and get this to its new home. Teams Media Trails number 100. Kevin Eastman. And hopefully we'll push on. I hope we continue growing. Um, try to get some more Funko stuff in there. I mean, we had one today, but not nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, I do have some other Funko stuff I am trying to get a hold of. Um, I'm going to try and finish up what I have behind me, what I'm still collecting. So that... Look forward to that. With as far as Funko goes, I have a Lego set, I believe, somewhere that I'm gonna be showing soon, and that's it. That's all that's gonna be happening uh, of, in the future. The big giveaway, obviously, and my next video should be my sh my first challenge video of comics, and it's gonna be a good one. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Um, if you're a channel, and I shout you out. Highly advance, suggest you to go ahead and get ready for it because it's going to be pretty cool. I'm, it's going to be it's going to be a total of four giveaways. Uh, so you know, stay tuned, see what's what happens, and until next time, guys. Um, check make sure your friends, family know you're okay. Check on them, make sure they're okay. And as always, collectors up, collectors. Peace. I'm out.